Welcome to part three of making this cat in Blender. This is a series I'm doing where we're gonna be making a complete cat character in Blender. If you haven't already seen parts one and two where we do the modeling, make sure to watch them. Now, if you did watch them and you struggled a bit, in the description of this video, you're gonna find a link to the Gumroad page where you can download the model that I've already done. So in part one and two, we modeled this cat. And afterwards, I went ahead and cleaned up my model a little bit, which is just optional. I mean, if you didn't do that, yours will still work fine for this project. I just cleaned mine up a little bit and added some nails, which were optional, um, and you know, cleaned up the topology. And what I did is that the eyes we created in the first two parts, or in the last part, I just named those spheres eyes, and I dragged them up into the top collection, and I just hid the references. We don't need that anymore. So this is where we're up to, just getting that all out of the way. So once again, in the description below, if you just wanna follow along with the one I've already modeled, or just have a look at it for reference with your modeling that you're doing. So we're now gonna be UV unwrapping it. So let's, with our cat selected, um, we're actually gonna be leaving the mirror. So we're only gonna be unwrapping one part. That's how we're gonna be doing it. So let's go over to our UV editing. And over here with our cat model, what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna just cut this into different pieces. So with our edge select, we're gonna start at this side here. I'm gonna start and go all the way around and try and get a loop that goes around the neck. If you don't get a clean loop, just hold and shift and go all the way around to make an edge that goes all the way around like this. And we wanna go Control E or Command E. We wanna go Mark Seam, so we have a seam over here. And then let's hide our eyes or our spheres. So like I said, I just renamed my spheres to eyes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check these out here and let's just come shift alt left click and select the loop here around the eye and go control E. Let's go mark seam like that. And then you're gonna go all the way around the mouth. Now, depending on your topology, if you can't do a clean loop, just hold and shift and start over here work all the way around until you get to the edge over here. Then go Control E and go Mark Edge Seam. And if you want to, you can go around the nose like so. So I'm just gonna do this like that. Control E and I'm gonna go Mark Seam. And then what we need to do is just get the ears over here. So we're just gonna go all the way around the ears like this, the bottom of the ears, till these two edges come together. We're gonna go Control E and Mark the Seam. And then we need to go in the outside, like so. So this um, edge starting here where we have the seam goes all the way around the cat ear and comes all the way touching this seam over here. We're gonna go Control E and we're gonna go Mark Seam. So now what we can do is we've just, uh, let's go to our face select. Let's just go C and in wireframe, let's just select all of the face parts here. And if we go Control L or Control, yeah, Control L, it'll select everything up to the seams. So if we have a seamless selection, it, this should happen. So we have all of these parts selected and we're gonna go U, so pressing U on our keyboard, and we're gonna click on unwrap. And now it's unwrapped it. We can see everything is looking really good. Okay, this is exactly what we want it. And we're gonna press A to select everything, S to scale it down a little bit, and G to move it over. And for now, let's just go over here and press H just to hide it, because it's already done. And now let's go over here and let's just select. So you should be able to hold and shift and alt and just select a loop that runs all the way around like this. So you, as long as we have a bunch of edges running somewhere along here, all the way around, making a loop, that's what we want. And then holding and shift, we're just gonna go all the way down like so, all the way to the bottom, to about here. And then we're gonna take this loop that runs along here so not at the very bottom, but just kind of in the middle here and shift alt left click on that. So it meets up with this one over here. I'm gonna go control E and we're gonna go mark seam like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the back leg. So shift alt left click to select the loop that goes all the way around. And then holding and shift, we're gonna go all the way down the back of the leg till we get to this loop that runs in the bottom of our paw. shift alt Left click on that loop. So we have that, we're gonna go Control E and we're gonna go Mark Seam. And then if you ha added nails, so I added nails to my 3D model. Now this is optional. And if you've downloaded the one that I have in the description below, you'll have the same thing. Um, but you can just kind of select these guys and 
Um, you don't even have to add seams because they're gonna be so small, you won't really notice any stretching. So we're just gonna leave them all as they are. And with the tail, that should all be fine. Now this is mirrored, but let's just say you're gonna apply the mirror in the future. You might just wanna go Shift, Alt, and left click on this edge running for here and go Control E and go Mark Seam, just in case you do apply it at some point. So you have those different parts. But for now, we're gonna press A to select all of this and we're gonna go U and go Unwrap. And now all of this has unwrapped really nicely. Um, you could actually go Alt H now over here to bring everything back. And let's just go A to select everything over here and then go U and unwrap one more time. And now it's done this. So what we could do to make this a little bit more efficient probably is we can come here and just select the tail. So select the loop here, Control E and go Mark Seam. A to select everything and let's go U and unwrap. And now you can see that's a lot more efficient. And with all of this done, let's just press A over here or just drag and select all of these parts. Let's just go to our um, transform, make it individual origin. Let's just go S and just scale them all down just a little bit so the bits aren't too close to each other. And if there are any overlapping bits, just select them and just move them away from other bits. But the idea here is just to kind of make sure nothing is overlapping like this. So they all seem to be pretty good out of the box. So I'm more or less happy with what we have here. Might just grab these guys, move them here. There we go. And then we have that done. So that is the UV unwrapping done. So in the next part, we're gonna do something super fun, which I really enjoy, and that is doing our texturing for our cat. So make sure if you haven't already downloaded it, to download this model in the description. And let's go back to our layout. I'll see you guys in the next part.